Hey guys, Thunder E here, aka Board at Work, and welcome to Sony at CES Part 1. Now I'm going to show you the biggest Sony stories from the first ever virtual CES. And heads up, virtual is a word you're going to be hearing a lot. Today we'll delve into how Sony is empowering creativity with innovation through their host of virtual production tools. Today's top three. We'll get a first look at Sony Music and Verizon's immersive reality concert for Madison Bear. Sony Pictures CTO and GM of Sony Innovation Studios, Bill Baglier, tells us all about the future of creativity in the virtual production world. And we'll wrap it up with a glimpse of the future of music creation. Wow. Throughout the last year, concert events across the world were postponed or canceled. So creators have been looking for new ways to connect to fans. So Sony and Verizon came together to create an immersive virtual reality concert with Epic Records artist Madison Bear. The creators talked about the project earlier in a panel discussion. To use technology to take that experience a little bit further, but without losing the intimacy and the realism of a performance was one of the magical things that, that happened here. Now, this is a great example of how technology and innovation is being used to make a really positive creative experience. Now, the world of virtual reality is only getting better. And in a post-pandemic world, it seems virtual reality will only become more popular. Now, someone who knows a lot about the topic of virtual reality experiences is Bill Baglier. In his CES talk, the Sony Pictures CTO and GM of Sony Innovation Studios spoke about empowering content creators with remote solutions. And some of the technology Sony is developing is pretty mind-blowing, like AtomView. This is one of Sony Innovation Studios' pioneering production technologies for filmmaking. Now, AtomView is a volumetric virtual production software solution that allows you to capture objects and actors in a virtual background that changes based on camera movements. So, move over green screen. Now, these digitized film sets use a crystal LED wall and a 4K camera that synchronizes with the virtual space. Now, you can see the perspective change as if you're physically moving around the space. It is so realistic. It is wild. Sony actually announced a new series of crystal LEDs at CES, which is worth checking out at square.sony.com. Now, AtomView has already been used in a few projects. Not that you'd ever know it, because it's so good. Now, next up, in the field of sound mixing in movies, Sony has developed a solution that allows sound engineers to bring the studio mixing environment home with them. It utilizes Sony's unique spatial sound technology and with its 360 virtual mixing environment, it is now possible to remotely reproduce uh, different acoustic environments such as movie theaters. Now, with several film productions on hold last year, Sony's 360 VME technology kept audio sound mixing for films such as Ghostbusters Afterlife on track. So who are you going to call for your virtual production needs? Probably Sony. So whilst we're talking about sound, this leads us to our final story today, 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite, a glimpse into the future of music creation. What is it, you ask? In a nutshell, it's 360 Reality Audio. It's an immersive music experience powered by Sony's spatial sound technology utilized for 360 VME. Now, 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite is a plug-in software that enables musicians and creators to easily produce music in 360 Reality Audio using familiar DAWs or digital audio workstations. You can dynamically place and automate sounds in 360 spherical sound fields and immerse listeners with sound all around them. Now, today at CES, we got to see Grammy Award-winning producer Keith Harris create a new immersive music experience using 360 Reality Audio Creative Suite. Pretty cool, right? I'm sure we'll see more artists opting to use the software in the future to create 360 Reality Audio tracks. Now, that's a wrap for today, and stay tuned for part two of Sony at CES tomorrow with John Rechinger. Until then, make sure you follow at Sony and check out square.sony.com to learn more about all this amazing new technology that I've covered today.